oh what's up guys we have a new portion of Toyotaro interview content uh, that I'm going to drop today on the channel. I didn't get the chance to cover the last interview so I think I'll just do a quick rundown of what I remember he said in the original interview because there was some pretty cool tidbits of information that he dropped in the last interview so I'll go ahead and just explain some of the things that he said. So one of the things that he said was that he always planned for re for Frieza to return at the end of the Granola arc. Uh, he wanted him to be like the hidden character who was pulling strings in the background that the plot was building up to towards the end. Which does explain, you know, why he's hyping up this Black Frieza arc coming up. Because the Granola arc is essentially just being treated as a precursor to the Black Frieza arc. Uh, he also said that he got the idea for, and, this, and he said he was half joking when he said this, but... He and Uchida were discussing that a black credit card was above a gold credit card, and that's why he decided to make Black Frieza black. Now, personally, I also think it has a lot to do with the theme of balance, because Frieza's actions emulate what Goku did on Namek when he found balance when he achieved Super Saiyan. Uh, I also think that... He also commented how he, he thought that Frieza uh, was reminiscent... Like, he, th he thought black was a very off-putting color and reminiscent of uh, black holes. So he, he gave some off-handed comments about different inspirations for Black Frieza, but the most prominent one that the community has discussed thus far is the idea that he used a credit card for the inspiration for the next portion of uh, Frieza's transformation branch. Uh, personally, I think that's pretty interesting and funny. Uh, to me, it, it's also a representation of the idea that Frieza tried to emulate Super Saiyan the first time he transformed, and this time around, he created his own thing. So that's another thing I sort of noticed from a narrative perspective. Um, I also remember he said that when it comes to the superhero manga arc, uh, he met under Toriyama to discuss making a small story that like was on Earth rather than you know the high-stakes God-level stuff that we've been dealing with lately. He wanted Goku and Vegeta to take the back seat and move into this um, more relaxed era of a uh, high school themed story. Toritaro also revealed that he always wanted to do a story about Trunks specifically. Again, uh, he submitted several rough drafts. Toriyama, you know, proposed the initial idea, and then he built off of Toriyama, and they came to this conclusion together as to what they were going to do for this later arc. He also confirmed that there will be a romance between Trunks and Mai. Uh, that's a controversial thing, but he did confirm that. He also said that he loved Dr. Hero. He also said that he loved Dr. Hito, Orange Piccolo, and Gohan Beast. Um, he also talked about how he missed drawing normal humans because uh, he was drawing so many aliens. Uh, he also told us that more info about Dr. Hito's disc at the end of Chapter 1 will be revealed in this upcoming chapter now now let's get into um the stuff that he said recently so it has been confirmed so it has been confirmed that toriyama designed the outfits for Saiyaman x1 and x2 um Toritaro was really pleased with the balance that toriyama managed to incorporate into the design and what he's referencing here i, I did balance just as a pun there but like what he's referencing is the fact that toriyama wanted the designs to look cool only to Trunks and Goten and not necessarily cool to, like, people who, you know, were observing Goten and Trunks. So from an outside perspective, some people not, might not think the outfit is cool, but Goten and Trunks definitely think that their outfits look cool, which is very similar to what happened with Gohan in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, he also comments that Toriyama purposely changes the design of Trunks' hair in each individual series, which I thought was interesting. Uh, I've noticed that myself. He has it part in different directions. He also has it split in the middle sometimes. So I have noticed that. Uh, he also changes the color. So that that is something that he commented on as well. Uh, he also said that he prefers to draw Dragon Ball characters with a muscular frame, but that the hero, uh, but that our heroes have been focusing on transformations that slim them down. So he has had to be uh, resisting the urge to draw them more muscular. He also comments here that he was told to draw Goten and Trunks uh, with this teen, this childish teen aesthetic. So he's constantly having to try and resist the urge to make Trunks and Goten uh, overly muscular. So 
He also comments that Goat Ten has really been hitting the books. He's really been educating himself, which isn't shocking because you know Chi Chi's going to make him do that. But that's interesting because that means that Goat Ten is is smart. He's earthly. He knows about Earth culture, which is cool. It separates him from Goku. Uh, and whenever the whole Trunks doesn't like to use technology controversy popped up, if you remember in my review, I said that I thought that it wasn't necessarily that Trunks wasn't good with technology. It's that he's just bored with technology. And this pretty much confirms what I said because Toria, because Toyotaro comments that Trunks is a natural-born genius, but that he's a slacker and he basically just does whatever he wants. So despite the fact that he has the potential to be good with technology, he finds it boring and he just wants to do what he wants to do, which is exactly what I said when the controversy amongst the fandom happened when they had a, a, a conniption over the fact that he wasn't good with technology, that was, that's always been my stance. I always saw that as what they were trying to portray. It, it seemed obvious to me in the manga chapter itself. So Toyotaro, so Toyotaro also comments that Goten's hairstyle is one of the most commonly used hairstyles by Toriyama, and he's right. It was used by Go, Gohan in the Cell Saga. Uh, it was used in Doctor Slump. It was used for Dragon Boy. It was used for an older Roshi. Uh, it was used for Yamcha. It is one of the most common hairstyles that Toriyama has used. Uh, and the last thing here is that Toyotaro, Tori and the last thing here is that Toyotaro comments that he and Toriyama both share a love for Gohan's high school era, and that as a result, he always wanted to draw a story with a high school setting. He was initially skeptical to make Goten and Trunks superheroes due to the similarities with Gohan. So that's pretty much all of the new info. There was a few other things that he said. Uh, that I didn't really feel were that important or worth reporting on for the most part. Uh, but you can go check out that. Uh, just go follow the official Dragon Ball website on Twitter, and you can actually see the interview for yourself and check it out and watch it. Also, follow me on Twitter if you want to hear some cool stuff. Uh, I, I'm pretty active on Twitter. As a matter of fact, a lot of the content that I'm going to be making in the future going forth is just a bunch of stuff that I've you know talked about on Twitter and pointed out to fans in the past. I've decided to sort of take advantage of that as a source uh, for content. So you'll be seeing a lot of the stuff that I talk about on Twitter on the channel, but if you just want to see it on Twitter itself, you can go follow me there. Anyway, that's all I have for you today, so I hope you enjoy my content. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.